when you get an opportunity um of something do not hesitate guys send as soon as possible don't wait for tomorrow don't wait for two hours and Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to be back um, for the second time now. Uh, for those who are coming back for the second time, welcome back to my channel. We are finally getting used to that is on the channel. Okay. Um, for those who are coming for the first time, welcome to my channel. My name is Latiswa Menziwa. Please subscribe to my channel because I'll be dishing out really, really good content. Um, Today it's, um, it's Tuesday, right? Yeah, it's, it's a Tuesday, the 10th of August, right after Women's Day. Um, today it's, uh, I think I should just give you a story time. Yeah, it's story time. Yeah, they call it story time. Story time um, about um, what I'm doing, currently doing right now as a job um how i got to do what i'm doing right now because this was my not my career um path i didn't study for it at the get-go but i did a course for it after i've completed my qualification so life guys can just take a sharp sharp curve a very very sharp curve but okay, it's not really a it was not really a, 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 a train smash because I'm currently um uh working as a facilitator, I'm a freelancer facilitator. So I'm going to take you back to my journey after graduating. So I'm going to take you to twenty it was twenty nineteen, yes, I graduated in twenty nineteen. Firstly, um the first job that I did was I was doing I was doing my training, which is in service training for my course inventory and stores management. So I had to do four hundred hours at a certain um warehouse because I'm a warehouse lady, guys. I did warehousing, I majored in warehousing and I did purchasing all those warehouse um jobs and purchasing parchment material materials handling i'm your girl for it so i did that and then i had to do my in-service training i did uh, my in-service training at a certain company for two months yeah it was so good i really enjoyed and in my mind i really thought i was going to go that journey like literally that journey was for me so i did my in serve enjoyed working with people met different people really nice people so i worked there for two months and then i completed an assignment after that and then i passed then i i, re I graduated in december 2019 summer graduation for nmu so now okay in my mind really i didn't have anything at I'm going to be unemployed. I was like, I'm going to look for a job, go January, right after graduation. Because, I mean, I, I did a really, really uh, broad um, course because the supply chain, logistics, and um, purchasing, warehousing, it's everywhere, guys. You go to a shop, go to ShopRite, there is a warehouse, there is purchasing, there is parchment. You go to a school. There's no school that does not purchase goods. You go to certain private companies, public companies, municipality, government, everywhere. So my course is like really, really broad. So I thought I'm going to apply and get a job. Hey, January. Um, okay, I graduated in December. Very excited. 
my parents came friends came and they were so excited about the graduation okay fine and then we had to go home and right after my graduation my graduation was on the 12th of december 2019 just before the pandemic well i wanted to wait for april ne? and then i i i opted for the summer graduation instead of the april one which was going to be the next year 2020 april i opted for december and then when covid came like no please not be and and graduate in december but that's not the the point so january i'm frustrated now because i bought january apela and i'm still sitting at home guys remember what is learning so there's nothing much to do in, in the rural areas especially if you're used to the life of varsity uh town everything j is pt pt and now you have to go and chill and stay is learning and do nothing literally i was doing nothing so i i i chilled but i was so stressed then um i think mid mid january 2020 a friend of mine shout out to her we are in this one take it let me she she said um don't you want to do a short course because you know she was a facilitator already she graduated 2018 so she was already a facilitator in this industry she was in within the facilitation industry assessor industry moderator industry so okay fine i'm like okay i see you were like she was she, she was doing great because we we, we did uh, the same course but she was ahead of me so okay i'm like then the facilitator course what is that number one what what is what is facilitator yeah well because i've never heard of such so she explained to me that a facilitator is someone who who's more like a teacher you basically teach old people youth and old people who are doing learnership so it's a person who who teaches um people who are doing a learnership basically you're a teacher you're a facilitator more like a lecturer but you're a facilitator okay if i'm like okay so what's the procedure what am i supposed to do from now okay now that you you say i must do that cause and then she she guided me and then she told me where she did hers because she was a living proof that actually there is such a thing as a facilitator because when i didn't know anything i just knew because i knew her being a facilitator yeah man and really i was not sometimes you just don't pay attention to things because you like okay i don't do that i'm not going to do that i'm not going to stand in front of people and teach so i'm not really interested in knowing until she told me about it so she guided me and then um it was more like an online course so i did an online course for facilitator okay i was just doing it yeah, because i'm like oh i'm stressed and i have nothing to do so i did the course and i i waited for my result the course took, took me a week yes took me a week to do then i submitted then i waited for the results the results took about you they took so long they took quite some time two months yeah to come back so remember i'm still in intermangul frustrated and i was in cook every day so now i i'm like no i tell my mom that i really want to go to to jobe because really there's nothing that i'm doing here it's it's just frustrating me yeah but staying is lalini after graduation i'm sure people are like hey you know you know you know they're my people but you know you know is lalini but they my people but so i i decided that okay i have to let me just go back to job okay at least in job work there's a bit of life more than is lalini so i took that decision told my parents that i want to go to job work i'm broke yes and i was telling them because i wanted some money so that they can help me with um money bus because i took bus 
Okay. <coughs> um, fast forward. Now I'm traveling to pay, guys. Now I'm traveling. I have to travel to Joburg, and then my dad buys me a ticket. Um. So my bus was going to be from Coxted. There was still that, that, that. All our people takes in the bus, that you know it takes the taxi people don't want um people to take a bus you don't land. So I had to take my bus in Coxted instead of Manfred because the Bangalore we don't have a bus that go to straight to Joburg because the Italian. So now I have to travel to Coxted, then take my bus from Coxted to Joburg. Okay. I bought city to city, guys. The cheapest because in the low was hard. So my dad bought me a city to city bus. Ticket, like ticket, but ticket. I will say yes. Ticket. So uh, the day came where I had to travel. Uh uh. Mm mm. Before that, oh, uh, the day came. Anyway, the day came. Um, I'll go to a cox. That my bus was gonna leave at half past four. Yes, half past four. So now, the Africa cox. That I mean, I, I wait at the station where I'm. I'm supposed to be taken by a bus. Hi, man. To figure around to four, yeah, to four, and then I stand there waiting for a bus. But I realize, but actually, there's no people around me. Okay, but yeah, I'm going to Joburg, but there's no people around me who are also waiting for the same bus as I am. Even even though even if okay, they're not waiting for the for the seat to sit, but at least okay, if it's a station, there's there's supposed to be people around. Even if they're waiting for Greyhound or Sprinter Cape, whatever. Like okay, I'm the only one. Hey, I'm not even asking people, but okay, it passes. Yeah, my app. So hey, I I I I stand, I stand, I stand, and then half past four, that a bit, and then five. Hi man, I asked someone passing by because Goxted can be very shady, so you need to be a bit careful. So I asked, but. Um, you might also to sit there with a mama also to sit to man down, you know. And like, I was also to sit to can I only pass it later? Les I think it was go heading to, to the garage. Like, no, I'm sure pass. Okay, fine. Da got a passes in my garage instead of the. They in our April, my ticket was written a certain place. I was standing at that place because in going and see, I asked the driver to actually show me that place, and he show he he showed me one bonus and there's like one. So I was I was like I was surprised by it passes in my garage. <laughs> so I went to the garage around to six past five. Ne, I went to the garage, and then I the booze at the the people working at the garage, but Kabambon, they said there is two of city to city buses. This is if you leave to Joburg. I'm like, maybe there's more coming. Okay. I call my mom and then I tell her that I think the bus has left me, but I still have hope that um, there's more coming because it means the buses that are passing. Okay, fine. Then I stay there, I stay seven. Eight, eight, no, no sit to sit. But the other buses are coming and leaving and coming and leaving. I'm like, no, I think I have to go back home because now it's around eight o'clock. It's dark. It's at night, and I'm a female. So what am I going to do? So I call my mom and she's panicking. That's why sometimes like, I've always avoid to to tell her things that I know buses or men are panicking. Because I know she she panics, so I tell her that no, Mama, I think I have to come back. The bus has left me. So I call my I I say to her I'm going to call my other cousin that has a car that stays around um, Coxted. Okay, fine. And then um, 
Vele, I call him, <coughs> and then he comes. I tell him that, brah, this way back. So I think I need to go back home, and then I'll make other plan, uh, another plan. But how am I gonna get to Joburg? I think I'll need to to get a, another ticket because it's probably not their fault, but it's their fault for writing a station that I don't know whether it doesn't exist or a wrong station. So I went, I will well, I went home, and then I got home around ten. Yeah. And then he went back to Coxstead. So, fairly fast forward, and I bought another ticket some other day. But after, I think after three days, I bought another ticket. I bought Greyhound this time. Like, oh, and so I'm a no matter how much I'm broke, I'm no longer taking that bus. So, I bought Greyhound Valley. Now, I took it in Coxstead at seven o'clock. Then everything was cool with traveling to Joburg. And then traveled to Joburg, and then I got to Joburg. I stay there. Remember, I'm still waiting for my my facilitator results. I stay there for like from February, March, April. Then April, I got the results. Uh, fortunately, I passed my facilitator, and I was exci- so excited about it. And then I started applying now for jobs, uh, facilitator jobs, and my inventory jobs supply chain jobs and then remember i have a friend Galogu, that introduced me to this facilitator um, journey course yeah short course then i fast forward to okay may june july august towards the end of mid august she calls me uh both she calls me on on whatsapp uh, i see these missed calls like from WhatsApp texting, I'm like, I wonder what's wrong about what's happening. I'm like, hi, when I can walk with phone, don't run this. I'm going to go for nail and say, I'm like, John, guys, be silly for like eight months or seven months. And so, I'm under them, say, Benz, I'm so drained, I'm so like, I'm tired of applying for jobs because, like, I've been applying. And when I hear stories, people will say, I graduated, it's been five years in graduate, it's been two years in graduate, but nothing comes up. And I just like, I'm just like, guys, it's been months, but I'm already tired. Yeah, well, so I'm like, oh, okay. I say, okay, and so I go, and then get a WhatsApp, be like, can I EP like the pillars? I remember we met in PE, so she doesn't really know where I'm from. She forgot, probably she forgot. Say, so it wasn't about Kulu, bro. And she's like, oh, okay, Kufunga Abantu to facilitate a learnership program in Mount Runa Santa Mangul. Like, okay, God, is this my, my, my breakthrough? But I haven't applied, but I'm thinking, God, I think this is my breakthrough. Yeah, well, then, so what is, okay, I'm going to, to give you a, a number that you should text. And then really that puff in fact before I, I texted that person I I received a call from him. Remember she recommended me to this guy who's a coordinator. Yeah. So he calls me and he's like, um hi Dingu Ban Ban from this company. Um we are looking for facilitators and assessors. So someone recommended you uh for facilitation. Yeah, well, I'm like, yes, I do have a facilitation course. Remember, I'm as quanto. <laughs> and as quanto, but I'm confidently saying, yes, I do have a facilitator course. But can you please forward me your CV and your qualifications, including your varsity qualification? I'm like, no, sure, I will. Can I have your email address? And then he text, he sent me a message. Giving me his email address, and then I, I sent like immediately, guys. When you when you get an opportunity, um, of something, do not hesitate, guys. Send as soon as possible. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait for two hours and digest and just go. Just send, yeah, well, So I did exactly that and sent my qualifications. Then he replied. Then he said he's going to call me tomorrow. Yeah. So 
so na pe next to tomorrow i did not call him the person is not calling remember we were in those covid days where you needed to have in a permit to travel when you called me he's like we need a person like immediately like as soon as possible so you have to attend the induction and everything where are you i don't want to miss the opportunity guys even though i'm in job i don't know how i'm gonna do it but in december excuse me it was so urgent that i needed to say even though i was in job so i said december i can attend induction and he said a day after tomorrow we have to attend induction remember it's kusemini and then there's only i have like only one day yeah so what he's going to call me again so he called me and then he said i should attend induction day after tomorrow yeah and i said okay oh, i'm in jobic and then induction is in tabangul <laughs> i okay so later that day he calls me again he's like oh can you please wait because we still have this covid thing but if anything changes then i'm going to call you now the project has has been postponed because of covid <laughs> not okay no problem and then sashal i think i stayed for like two weeks then i got his call again saying the project will resume i'm no longer going to ntabangul i'll go to manfre and they need me um after two days after one day <laughs> dim low i'm like okay sure there's no problem i'll come um call my mom <laughs> and my dad and i say mom do do you think i am i'm i'm not saying do you mean i'm like if you need a amount for go on so my mom had panic i go oh such a big fund in is what you can open to is what you need like i'll make a plan yeah but then they send me email and then i made sure that gangom so i need to to be to be traveling to to the eastern cape because it's the distance from jolo to eastern cape is is like 12 hours so more or less it's it's a day it's a day so i can't say no and so i'll, I'll go on the day don't 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 no i had to travel as soon as possible so i booked the bus then travel to monfrey i got the and the more in the morning where i'm supposed to be going for an induction so i didn't sleep i just went straight to the school um where i was supposed to attend induction so i went there i was tired i was looking like a zombie but i had to be there so i went there and then i got um the other facilitator that umvana oh that umvana the sweetest tom dala i got there and then he he showed me everything literally guys i that's how i got a job like it was like kwenza anton is this my breakthrough after i've kind of suffered i really suffered i know it's months but it was really stressful for me not like not to be doing anything with my life after then tell it to wake up in the morning and go to school go to school go to a shuttle stop and wait for a shuttle that will take me to school so it was really stressful um for me so that's how i found my first um facilitator job basically so really life can actually take turn especially career wise because now it's like now I, I i really thought i was going to sit in the office in front of a computer and the chicken is just all the coffee and depend because and yeah but that that kind of life i i didn't know that i had to stand in front of 25 people 30 people and teach like teach a whole teaching guys 
wake up in the morning go to a man who are more or less your age age group so it was really um eye opening for me and it was really a good experience that actually people really life really take um turns um so um you shouldn't really um i don't know i want i don't want to say choose but when something comes it different in your life a job opportunity that's different from your career path i think you should just go for it you might enjoy it you may never know because now i'm really really enjoying being being a freelancer facilitator i'm really enjoying i'm really having fun i'm really meeting really good people in the in the industry and even the people that i teach are really good people because i'm teaching adults so i meet really good and nice people sometimes i learn a lot from them because sometimes i teach people who are older than me so you, you can imagine the wisdom that i get from being around old people as a young person so so really sometimes you might think we are destined for this and this but really we are destined for other things you know so you shouldn't um turn down opportunities or advices from people who are trying to advise you especially if it's something that has to do with a job and and a career guys it's so hard out there after us it i always hear people saying it's hard after great work but after us it it's it's the worst thing it's the worst thing. i don't blame people who study study in that belly and then do the other course at the belly in zelia because it's so difficult out there like jobs i was having a conversation with uh, this other friend of mine just yesterday we were talking about um school business and everything but nowadays this day and time day and time we have to just do what works for you <laughs> basically because we can't really encourage people to follow whatever that we're following in zegelo if uh, just because i went to varsity i'm like everyone needs to go to varsity umuntu must do whatever that works for them do whatever that makes you happy as long as it it brings you joy happiness and money because iman is very important you can't do anything without money so whatever works for you just do it if it's business if you are selling clothes sell clothes in basically if you are selling muffins if you are selling a sandwich if you are selling whatever that you're selling if it works for you and brings you income something that can actually sustain you sustain you in life then i see no reason not to do it do it so guys um that's my journey and a bit of a story time it's a story time yeah um um i hope you enjoyed this story and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe